Here we go. This is Happy Go Fishing TV. Oh, I got busted. What? Come on back. Okay. This is Happy Go Fishing TV. I'm happy. I go fishing and I'm on TV. <laughs> All right. What do we got? We got a puller. Calm down, buddy. Come here. You're an aggressive guy. Hey. Get in here. That's a nice one. That's a big one, actually. Oh. Don't hit the thing. Don't you hit the thing. These guys go nuts every time you pull them out of the water. Nice fish. Can't see my face. Nice fish, though. White fish on the thingamajig. So we're just gonna give you a quick little lesson on how I call these fish in. Maybe I'll rewind it back and show you what happened. I marked this fish for a second and he spooked away because I was trying to do my intro. But then I called him back in, came in and smoked it. Just let her go. Cha. <laughs> well, that's one for one on this outing. Marked one fish caught one fish and this is actually my third outing of the day and usually each outing I'm good for one fish so except for that midday fish today god skunked but got one in the morning got one just now that was pretty good but let's talk about how I call these fish in there's three ways I like to call them in maybe four ways I like to call them in one method is to just do like the slow lift the controlled fall to bottom basically slow lift lift the bait up, let it crash back down into the bottom. And I'll just do that until the fish comes in. Really simple, plain, easy technique. Nothing fancy to it. There's not a lot of fanciness in white fishing, but this is just one thing I like to do when waiting for a mark. And then the other way I like to call them in is I'll do like the high jig. I'll just keep the bait up high and just shake the rod tip just a little bit. You know, I don't like to go too crazy with the jigs up here um, for a couple of reasons, because the bait's always going to be constantly circling and spinning around. So I don't want to create too much line twist just by doing the call in move. Like if you do this all day long, you're going to have some crazy line twist. Um, some guys swear by it, but I just like to do a little dance. Just shake the rod tip like so. Another way on the toughest days, this is what I do to call on the fish. And I almost like work the lure the same way you work it when you're trying to get a bite. And if you've ever seen a lesson on how to work a Meigs, it's basically the same technique. You know, you're gonna get down, find your bottom, and just do little love taps on the bottom, like raise it just off the bottom, just slightly, and just, you know, shake your rod tip. Sometimes I find like the fish won't come to a lure up high dancing off the bottom. Like they know something's up, especially on like the high pressure days, maybe on Saturdays and Sundays when there's a lot of people out here all doing the same high dance. It's like, I'll just keep the rod, the bait low and just, you know, just steadily jig it on the bottom, nice and low. Not really paying attention too much to what you're doing because you don't really get focused on the proper rhythm and jigging technique until you mark a fish. So I'll just kind of like aimlessly jig it low and fast on the bottom until you mark a fish and then you're gonna do your find your do your rhythm and then the last way I like to call them in is I'll just leave it up high you know I might put the rod down no dead sticking it I'll leave the bait up high and if there is any line twists in your rod in your bait if you are finding there's lots of line twists this is a good thing to do once in a while just let your bait sit there and let it untwist itself you know the bait's not gonna be sitting there completely motionless it's gonna be sitting there doing circles down there it's very subtle Fish can see it from a long way away. I'm just something I like to do once in a while just to let the line untwist. And uh, you know, whenever I'm grabbing a snack or grabbing a drink, that's what I'll do. Those are the four ways I like to do it. 
the low dance, the low fast, jerking on the bottom, not bringing it high at all, just keeping it low and fast, bang, 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 bouncing the bottom fast. And then I like to do the high, slow, high, slow, jig, let it bounce off bottom slowly. And then the other one is the high dance, shaking it up high, just giving it little jiggles, making that bait kind of do this the whole time. And then the second you see a fish, you're gonna drop it down to the bottom, find your bottom. And then the last one is dead sticking. Uh, another thing you can do is like reel really fast because the sound of your reel will travel down the line and, uh, and make some extra noise down there. If you're really thinking there's a fish down there, like if you just saw a fish and you didn't take it, that's another thing I'll do is I'll reel really fast. And if you want to know how to fish this thingamajig, whatever way you're calling in the fish, you can be dancing your lure up high, you can be doing the big slow jigs, you can be doing your big jigs, whatever you do. Whenever you mark a fish, you're gonna get down and find the bottom. Now everyone's, everyone's got their own ways on how to fish uh, a, a goby style bait on the bottom. You know, some people just like to do the slow little subtle jigs and they're constantly tapping the bottom the whole time. For me, I like to pull the bait about half an inch off the bottom and then you start doing your rocking motions, just rocking it. And the cadence you do it is different every day. For every fish even, it seems like. You gotta kind of read the fish and how they're engaging with the lure. And, uh, and you rock it based on their aggression. Every like third or fourth downstroke, I do like to hit the bottom just to make sure that you're still there because sometimes you can start rocking it and lifting it and not really noticing. And if your bait gets two to three inches off the bottom as you're rocking it, those fish are likely not gonna bite it and they're gonna take off because you've been busted. They can see it's not real, doesn't convince them, and they're gonna get out of there. And then the bite is gonna feel like absolutely someone came up and cut your line, or you're gonna feel a little thump on the line. And typically, slack line bites are the best bites you can get because that means they've slurped the bait up, it's right in their mouth, and you got them. Sometimes I find with the thump bites, that's the fish just trying to pin the bait to the bottom and they might have it by the side or you know they might not have it right down their mouth. So the slack line bites have definitely been the best for me. And it's starting to rain now. So I think that just about does it for this outing. Hopefully you learned something from this video and we'll catch you on the next one. Jesus. Come on, buddy. Got him. Got him. Yeah! <laughs> Nice fish on the thingamajig again.